Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So I want to introduce you to one of my overly complicated designs. You guys seem to like them. So here's another one that, that I built just after the release of the Gravity Cube. And it never saw the spotlight because I actually came out with something that was a little bit less complicated. But never mind, let's actually introduce you to the Steel Dome, named a little bit after the Israeli defense system that shoots down missiles. A question was asked to me by a user is how could he stop fighters flying around the base above picking off his turrets and so on and just making it a nightmare, especially since turrets track the target and they often shoot behind it and miss. Well, this is the system for you. Now we've got these individual missile or little pods you could say with warheads aimed on and the idea is to create a massive minefield that can pulse or pulsate in and out so it's impossible to miss. So when the actual fighters are flying through it, they have to slow down to miss these mines so the turrets from the base can actually engage them. So I'll show you how it works. So first of all, we have actually a timer block we can set to pulse them manually, or sorry, automatically, but I'm going to actually do them manually for the moment. So we're going to set the pulse to a negative. You'll see how we spread out into that dome shape. We have the dome shape, and then we actually retract them back in like so. We have the dome, and then we retract it back out. We can pulse this massive dome. I'll just put that on a zero for the moment so we can actually have a look. And flying a ship through here means certain death. And another good thing about this is very easy to tidy up. You simply reverse the gravity generator and just send this steel dome off into space. But you can just see how that could cover such a large area around your station and you'd be pretty safe. And if you wanted to launch your own fighters to retaliate after their fighters have been destroyed by the steel dome, you just hit the gravity, these launch off into space, maybe in the direction of the enemy. And that is how it works. Now, one of the questions that you're probably asking is what happens when a fighter goes through that? Well, I'll show you that now. So it looks like we've got some enemy fighters approaching, so we're gonna activate the system as fast as possible. We might miss these first two. Uh, we'll retract it back in. Let's see if we got any. We got one out of the two. Bring the system back in and then just pulse this dome in and out. So that's two. Will we get the third? No. So we, Oh yeah, we got it on the last one. So beautiful. So out of the four ships that passed by, we got most of them. So let's actually set this to zero. And there we go. Let them just spread out and create that massive cluster. So this time we've got another load of fighters coming in. But this time I'm going to set it to the actual manual setting. Well, the automatic setting. So it's actually going to deploy these itself and actually intervene in the situation. So these fighters actually look like that. I've placed them a little bit too low. So this might set up the whole field. So that's two. That's three fighters destroyed. That one blew up absolutely amazingly. And you can see due to the space in the blocks, it's not caused a massive contingency. Now, what's going to happen with each of these blocks? They're going to go out 25 meters and then be brought in back 10 again. You can see since them ships actually flew so close, they rammed into the dome itself causing the dome to actually break apart and that, that's, that's not what not what you want at all another reason I mean having all these projectiles floating around like this now without any sort of gravity to hold them up is something you might not want over your base so the final thing I want to show you is the prototype for a version that could basically print itself now this ball is on a rotor in the center it's still in really early stages of this we've got two of these production pallets and the idea is to generate these warheads like so they produce up the attach on as this ball rotates around in a circle and they attach them in layers with a piston pushing these guys up each time so you get three layers on the side now the real question would be how to get them to attach themselves to the top without any serious explosion but anyway it was just another one of my crazy and overcomplicated weapons that I thought I'd show you guys today. Well, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.